Welcome to the channel. Today's treasure trove video is six ball jointed doll blind boxes gifted by Kika Goods. Thank you to Kika Goods for sending these to me. I am so excited to show you the dolls I ended up getting from these amazing series. I did do the full unboxing on stream earlier this month, so I will link to it down below. We did comparisons with other dolls I have, swapped clothing, and opened up their heads to have a look at their eyes. So if you really want a deep dive look at each doll, be sure to check out the live stream. For today's video though, let's jump into our first series. I want to start with the Roro Summer Island series by Simon Toys. We have six options and two secrets. I really liked this series and if you weren't aware, this character started off as vinyl figures. I do really like all of these options, but I think my favorite are this cute peachy pink one, the purple haired cutie, plus the all blue one. These are very monochromatic, but I've never unboxed a secret from a doll series, so it would be nice to see a secret today. But I think my two favorites are these two. But let's go ahead and see who I got. I unboxed Summer Wildness, which is the all green LaRoro. This doll is a 112 size with removable eyes and swappable face and hair. For clothing, we have a green dress, two frilly socks, and two light green shoes for the clothing. I like the clothing quality and the outfit is very cute. It also comes with a detachable magnet hairpiece that is plastic. One of my only negatives for this series is that the hairpiece doesn't cover the line between the front and the back. I wish it did, but I still like it. And this doll comes with 8 extra hands that you can swap too. And we have two cards for this series, one for the series and one for the specific figure. This figure card is really fun because it's a sticker dress up doll and you can assemble it on your own, which is a very cute idea. And if you did want to buy extras for this series, you can get a blind bag for a random hair piece and there is pajama clothing sets. You also get a custom doll book with all the steps on how to swap the hands and further details. Summer Wildness is very cute and she passes the stand and sit test really well and overall I just think it's super cute. I do really like this doll. She wasn't one of my favorites but I still love her and I'm still really excited to have her even though she isn't one of my favorites. I would definitely pick up more from this series or from a different series of this character. So far, we only have the one series for Liroro. Next, let's have a look at our other Simon Toy series. This is SC Dolls Tenor Campus. Tenor has three different ball jointed doll series that you can choose from. This is series number two, and series number three just came out recently. And there's quite a few from this series that I think are super cute. I'm mostly hoping for our pink haired cutie and for this series it's a bit different from the other one we only have one secret and who did I get? This was such a disappointment. I got so unlucky and got my least favorite. We have News Club. News Club has this very distinct windswept hair and it also has permanent bows in the hair. She comes with this really cute dress and dress shirt with two leg warmers, two socks, and cute black loafers and a camera accessory. Again, the clothing is a very good quality and I do like the outfit and our additional accessory. She is the smallest of all the dolls we'll be unboxing today, so she is pretty small. For this one, you also get eight hands though, which is great. This was actually my first time unboxing Tenor before. And for this one, we do have eyes that are drawn on and not detachable. You can swap faces and hair if you do have others from this series. And you get a similar dress up doll sticker and card like we got for the other series. These are both from Simon Toys, so there is similarities between them. And if you look on the Kika Goods website, you can get clothing sets and even a blind bag faceplate if you do want to change up just the face. And I actually ended up purchasing one of them, so I'm going to have that in a future video. And I was kind of sad that I ended up getting her since I don't really love that windswept hair. But I do think the outfit is pretty cute. News Club did pass the sit and the stand test and overall is good quality, but I definitely prefer the size and the style of Lee Roro from Simon Toys better. 
I think if you like the school theme, though, you would love this character. And there is three different series that all have school uniform clothing. And like I mentioned, I do have one of the blind bag faceplates and I do have a doll from series one that I will be opening up in the future. But I don't think I would get any more from this series unless I knew it was like my favorite one for this series. And now on to our third series, which is Nagi Exchange Student, which is series two of the Nagi Mechanical Jointed Doll series by CY Toys. And for this series, we have six options and one secret, and I think it's going to be the same for all of the rest of our series. And I do have a full unboxing of the first series, Nagi Club Kindergarten, which I'll link down below if you want to check it out. My favorite is definitely The Secret, but I really love everyone from this series. I was tempted to get a full case of it. And I do really like how this series is a mixture of genders, so that can be really fun. And this is the only series in today's video that has a variety of skin tone, so that's really nice to see. These are my three favorites. I really hope we get one of them today. I ended up getting Doodoo's shoe, which looks like an adorable mouse boy. He came with a lot of clothing. If you aren't aware, Nagi dolls come with a lot of clothing, typically. We have a shirt that I don't even think you can see because he has a jacket on that covers it. We also have shorts, two socks, and two shoes. And then we also get a bag and a tie that I didn't put on the figure currently. I will say I think the clothing aren't as good of quality as our two Simon Toys series, but I like all the options you can get. I do find the accessories that have to be tied on with string tend to be too long, which can be a bit annoying if you're taking photos. And I do really love the card for this series. It looks like an Instagram post, which is super cute. And as I mentioned, this is not a ball jointed doll. This is a mechanical doll, which means it's not strung. So that does mean that the hands are easier to take off and replace. And you do get six replacement hands with this figure. There is a difference between series two and series one. This series does have detachable eyes, which is really awesome that they started doing it. For me personally, I do find these dolls easier to pose because they are a lot stiffer. If you're someone who finds ball jointed dolls hard to pose, you might like MJDs more. This series barely fits the sit test though. The Inegi dolls tend to be a bit top head heavy. So when sitting, I had to make sure to point the head downwards or the figure would not sit and it would fall backwards. The feet also don't lay flat when sitting either just because of how heavy the head is. Standing is definitely easier, but the head does tend to sag down. I do really love the cute mouse boy though, and I tend to forgive its issues with posing because I do like that it's a bit easier to set up when I'm taking photos outside, but it does mean that it does have less flexibility than a ball jointed doll, even if it is easier to get into positions. And this was one of my favorites, so I do really like this series, I do really like him, and I do want to get more from this Nagi series. Next we have a really special figure. Now this box may look like a blind box and it does look exactly like the third series of Bonnie, the Starry Night Chapter Pajama series. However, you can see on the corner of this box, there is a sticker that indicates it's a special edition version. And there is special edition Bonnies that have come out. This one is called Bonnie Vanilla ZZ Little Angel from Come For Free. However, I do love the pajama series and I do have a box to open on a future treasure trove. And I think you can see right away that our cute vanilla angel Bonnie is a much larger doll than our previous three. Not so much in height and face size, but more in the body proportions and I think the hair might be a little bit bigger. In terms of outfits for our vanilla Bonnie, we have an angel dress, a halo hairband, a star collar, and two leg ruffles. And our angel dress does come with wings, but they aren't detachable. We only have two hand options for our Bonnie, but we do have detachable eyes, and I'm sure you can swap her with other Bonnie series. 
And I really like the card for this series. I thought it was really cute, but we didn't get a booklet, which is a bit of a disappointment. If you're new to ball jointed dolls, it's nice to get a booklet so that you know how to string it properly. I very much prefer this style of Bonnie series over the ones that we've opened so far. There's less clothing though as you don't get socks or shoes, but I think the fashion is just more my style. As for the sit and stand test, Bonnie does okay. She does lean back more when setting. She is more on the top heavy side with her heavy head, and even though she does have bigger feet, she can be tricky to stand but she's still one of my favorites so far. I think she's just so special and gorgeous. And it's really nice if you like this figure, you can just buy it without the mystery at all. And it's not that much more expensive for these special dolls. And if you didn't know, Come For Free does a lot of limited clothing packs and I think their clothing is super well made. And at the end of the live stream, this was the one figure I was the most excited about getting more of. I don't have any Bonnies in my collection, but I do have boxes from Series 2 and Series 3 that I haven't opened. And now I'm so excited to open them. I think they're just so special. Our second to last series just came out at the end of January and I was so excited to get this and be able to unbox this. We have Shukaka Insect Cafe from Made in Heaven and I believe this is the brand's first ball jointed doll series. I don't know what else they've made. We have six insect inspired dolls which is super cool and honestly these are so cute and I love the artwork. For this series, my favorite is Butterfly and White Moth, but my favorite outfit is Dragonfly, so I would love to get Dragonfly or one of the other two. And the secret for this series is really gorgeous as well. I was so lucky and ended up getting one of my favorites. I got White Moth. I think when I opened it, I squealed. I was really excited. She is just so cute. For clothing, we have a dress and shoes and three pipe cleaners for her necklace and bracelets. I'm not so sure about the quality of the outfit compared to the other series we've opened up today. Pipe cleaner might look cute from the front, but from the sides and the back, it's not really ideal and the shoes are just really simple. She did come with a tail as well and two magnetic wings and she does have detachable eyes. One thing to note though is both of my magnets detached one from the back of the doll and one from the wing. So I am going to have to glue those back in, but they fell out pretty much immediately. So overall, I'm not sure the quality of this series is the best. I know other people have opened them and have had issues as well, so it's not just me. She does have big proportions though, which I really like, and I find her very easy to stand. However, for the sit test, her legs don't lay flat because of how heavy she is on the top. Her legs kind of float in that sitting position, but you can use her tail to help balance her when she is sitting, however. And I do think that the tail is really interesting and very unique. We have seen magnetic wings before on Antu, and I do really love the styling and the uniqueness of this figure. This is definitely one of the most unique dolls we're going to have in today's video. So for the uniqueness alone, I probably would get a another box from this series, but I would probably get either Dragonfly or the Butterfly one confirmed. I am excited to see what they do for series 2 though and hopefully the designs live up to like the hype and we end up getting some better quality. And I think I saved the best for last. For our last ball jointed doll blind box we have Antu Title Secret Language Mermaid series. This is from Penny's box and I think they're one of the first if not the first ball jointed doll blind box brands and their quality seems to be getting better and better with each series and they keep on getting more and more unique. For this series, I'm really hoping for one of the purple ones or the secret. I really like the two purple ones the most though or this pinky blue one. And I just had to show you what a normal box looks like next to this one. It is so massive and big. I know the new Dragon series that came out recently is probably going to be a similar size. 
So even though these are 112, they are definitely going to be taller. Sadly on stream, I didn't get lucky and I think I got one of my least favorite colors, Rubia. I only dislike her because I'm not a huge fan of red, but she is pretty pink. But I'm so happy to have a mermaid doll. She is still really, really cute. And she came with one dress that you can wear with her or if you want to have it so there's no dress, you can attach a seashell bra. And you do get a bunch of sticky tape which is included which is really nice. And there is two detachable fins that are also in the bag but they would be covered up if she was wearing the dress. And then you also get two extra pair of hands as well. And the card for this series is just so cute and special. It would make a great bookmark. I thought it was beautiful. And you also get a full guide on how to string and change the hands of the doll. I do always like when you get a guide with your doll. And I do have a lot of Antu series, so we did test this on stream. And this figure does swap with the Antu Centaur series. It was actually really fun to swap the heads around, so definitely check out the stream if you want to see us doing that. And Antu has painted eyes for this series, so the eyes are not removable. It is nice to see that we did have a lot of removable eyes though. And for this figure, she does have two standing poses. You can pose her with her tail back or with her tail forward, which is awesome. And there is a separate stand you can buy for them as well, which makes posing easier. She does fail the sit test though, but I'm pretty sure if you used putty or if you propped her up on something, you could take a picture of her in a sitting style position. I'm so excited to have her and I love her dress even though we got my least favorite color of them. She's just so lovely and I definitely need more from this series. I would love to open a full case of this series and to also open up the new dragon series. Penny's Bop just has really creative figures and I do have a video of me opening up series 2 of the centaur series so if you want to check that out I'll put a link as well. And here is all of the dolls I unboxed in order of height so you can see a size comparison with all of the dolls from today's video. And as I said before, they are all supposed to be the 112 size and I think the dresses would work between each series. But I'm pretty sure anything with long sleeves or pants probably wouldn't fit the larger dolls or the mermaid. Both the Bonnie and the Shukaka insect have bigger legs and arms compared to the rest of this series. Definitely for proportions, the insect girl would be the largest out of all of them. Our Antu mermaid of course is taller because of the tail, but in terms of the body, she is quite small still. And if we were talking about like head shape, hair shape, Antu and Nagi are the smallest with Bonnie and Liroro being about the middle, and Shukaka being the biggest of them all. Except of course our poor tenor SC doll, she is just so tiny. Obviously she is our short queen and the tiniest head and honestly I would actually be surprised if her clothes fit anyone else. She's definitely in a league of her own. Like always though, let me know what you think down below. Who was your favorite from today's video? And if you want more ball jointed doll content, be sure to join this weekend stream on Sunday 8 p.m. Eastern and I'll also link to my other doll unboxings and doll streams down below in the description so you can also check them out. And before I forget, you can use the code Luna for 10% off on Kika Goods. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.